Hello, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the week two quiz information. So this is everything you need to know to be successful on the week two quiz. So first of all, this quiz only covers the following statistical tests, uh, and this should be a review of the information covered in dissertation 734 or previous introductory statistical courses. So correlation, Spearman non-parametric correlation, chi-square, independent samples t-test, and ANOVA. So you're only going to have one of each type of these questions. Uh, now this is important, especially in terms of time management. Uh, students must create their own Excel file for each question based on the data provided for the question. Uh, I know for some students this can get a little confusing and sometimes it can take a little bit of time. So please make sure to give yourself enough time to get these Excel files created and still analyze the data. Uh, examples of how to do this for each statistical test are provided on the course handouts and videos in that statistics review folder in weeks one and two, uh, which I will show you again just as a reminder uh, in just a minute. So information required for each question on the quiz. So first of all, you need to explain, and this is for each question, the statistical test used to analyze the question. You need the null and alternative hypothesis worded correctly per the provided course handouts and materials. And this is really important. Make sure you refer to exactly how um, the null and alternative is worded in our provided course handouts. Uh, you want their written statistical results in APA format. Uh, so for example, it would look like this for an ANOVA. Uh, examples of how to do this for each statistical test are provided once again in those course handouts in the statistics review folder. Uh, also remember to italicize all important statistical letters. So for example, F, P, T, R, chi-square, that X squared, etc. Uh, screenshots of statistical results from JASP. Uh, this should be in a Word document that is attached at the end of the quiz. Remember, the use of JASP is required for this quiz. Uh, were the results of the analysis significant or not? So you do have to actually state, are the results significant or not? Uh, was the null rejected or did the analysis indicate a failure to reject the null? Uh, then you need to include additional follow-up or supplemental test results. Uh, and make sure, once again, refer to that information here because it will let you know exactly, you know, if you need uh, post hoc testing, Levine's test results, Cohen's D. Uh, and then what do the results mean? What are the big picture results of this analysis? So this is the information required for each question on the quiz. So just so it's clear, every single question, all five questions, you need to provide all of this information. Uh, additional quiz requirements, once again, the use of JASP is mandatory. You must use JASP for every question. Uh, at the end of the quiz, there will be a place for you to upload a Word document with the JASP output from each question. Uh, make sure that data is, or that output is labeled clearly so I can tell which question which went with what. Uh, this is to your benefit because you, if you do not have the correct results, I can look at your JASP output and see what went wrong and still give you some points for your work. Um, also, not using JASP on the quiz will result in a significant point reduction regardless of whether you have the correct answer uh, and could potentially just result in a zero on that quiz question. Uh, statistical results must be written in APA format. Not writing statistical results in APA format on the quiz will result in a significant point reduction regardless of whether you have the correct answer. So big thing here, using JASP and writing things up in APA format are mission critical. Uh, this course goes beyond just getting the right answer uh, because I really want to make sure I know, can you correctly explain uh, the results and provide the information needed uh, for it to be in APA format? Uh, then getting started information, it is open book, open notes. There is no time limit other than submitting the quiz by the due date. Uh, once you open the quiz, you can go in and out as much as possible, as much as possible, as much as you want, as long as you do not submit the quiz. Uh, make sure to type your answers in a Word document, then transfer them into the quiz. This is to prevent them from potentially losing your work answers. Uh, once you move your answers from the Word document, double check that everything is italicized and looks good. Uh, add all JASP output to the Word document with your answers. Uh, you must submit a file of all your JASP output to the last question on the quiz. Also, do not rely on your knowledge from previous courses or what you find online. 
review the live course presentations and the handouts and videos. Um, everything you need to successfully complete the quiz can be found there. Um, and the password for the quiz will be posted on an announcement when the quiz is available. Um, and thankfully you are watching this video, so woohoo. Uh, and normally it's the Wednesday, uh, the week before the quiz is due, it's that Wednesday before that. So you normally have about a week and a half for quizzes. So let's go back and look at the statistics review. Uh, so this is the information specifically right here that I was talking about. So that information, the statistics review for week two, same info as week one, uh, you will want to click on this and then you can see for each of the different types of statistical tests that are covered, you're going to have all of the resources you need. So for example, for the correlation, there is a handout. I strongly recommend um, opening the handout and then downloading it and taking notes. So you can see uh, this handout goes through, you know, how it should look in JASP, how to run it in JASP, analyzing the results. Uh, reviewing it. Um, this is exactly what you would need in that Word document. How to interpret the results, determining degrees of freedom, and then for the written results. Now for the written results, and honestly to totally understand all of that, I've got the following videos. So you can, you know, uh, so it's not filling the whole screen there, but if you watch all of this, it takes you through how to do everything, but the most important part is here at the end, right there. That's not what I meant, right there. This is exactly how you would want to write up your written results for this test. So uh, just to kind of help you, uh, this is provided for all of those different tests. You just need to make sure that you get to this part of all of the videos. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And then the nice thing is that I've got this for Chi-Square, for Spearman, Independent Samples T-Test, ANOVA. So for all of these, there is a Word document um, where you are able to, um, you know, take your, all of your notes. I recommend, uh, you know, taking your notes and then keeping everything. In fact, I would recommend printing this off so that way you can refer to it. And then once again in these videos, if you get to the end, you can see that I talk through and explain exactly what you need. So these written results, these written results are what you need for the quiz. So this is the information. This is how you would write it up. Um, the only thing here for these written results that's not included that you need for the quiz is the hypothesis, that corrected word, correctly worded hypothesis. And for that, you can find that right here at the beginning. So at the beginning of each video, I explain the hypothesis. And then I explain um, how to word that ending right there. So that is the information you need for the quiz. Um, otherwise, for these quiz two requirements, um, you can see that you do have to take this quiz two requirements quiz. Uh, once you complete that quiz with a 100% uh, and you have the password for this, you can then access that week two quiz. So I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, let me know.